please enjoy hundreds of my video lectures on telecom and wireless please do not forget to subscribe to my channel please also like my videos please share my channel with your friends and colleagues thank you the next one is the paging channel look at the figure that's appearing on your screen what are the paging messages provides notification of incoming calls to idle mobiles in addition the paging channel may be used to broadcast messages paging channel applies to sr1 rate only carries two types of paging messages signal sent to mobiles to notify them that they are being paged maybe there's an incoming call the other messages signaling or overhead control and supervision messages for example ringtone voice messages etc Paging channel can operate in either the continuous or slotted modes. The purpose of slotted mode is to allow the mobile to power down some of its receiver circuitry to conserve battery power. We have seen this. What are the messages that are carried by the paging channel? System parameter message such as base station identifier, the number of paging channels, pilot PN sequence offset index, and the page channel number. The next one is access parameters message. Parameters required by the mobile to transmit on an access channel. neighbor list message information about neighboring base station parameters such as the pn offset typical order messages intercept base station acknowledgement lock until power cycled release registration accepted registration request etc data burst message this is a message sent by the base station to the mobile authentication challenge message allows the base station to validate the mobile's identity the unique mobile authentication keys and or shared secret data for each mobile registered in the system will be used to perform the authentication calculation we have an exclusive chapter on authentication later on and the reader will get lots and lots of details regarding ssd authentication procedures authentication challenge etc the ssd update message is a request by the bs for the mobile to update the shared secret data The feature notification message allows the network to enable the mobile to display the calling party's number and the number of messages waiting. CDMA channel list message provides a list of available CDMA carriers. Page message provides a page to the mobile station. Channel assignment message informs the mobile station to tune to a new frequency. Authentication challenge allows the base station to validate the mobile's identity. A mobile being paged is addressed by at least the first 24 binary bits of its 34 bit min or mobile station identification number which is a binary representation of its 10 decimal digit telephone number and is covered by a public long code look at this new figure that's appearing additionally mobile is able to generate a replica of the scrambling signal the public long code by appropriately setting the mask of its long code generator by knowing the paging channel number and the offset of the pilot code used by its current base station let's look at the paging sequence and the long code masks during paging the system uses a public long code to reach all the mobiles mobile recognizes its phone number and responds by ringing when the mobile picks up the call an access message which is of 18 bits goes back to the base station an 18 bit code the mobile sends this authentication sequence to the base station base checks the authentication code before allowing the call setup base then issues a random number to the mobile which the mobile uses in what is known as a cave algorithm cave to generate a call specific long code mask at the same time the base station also will do exactly that and generate its call specific long code mask the two now has the same long code with which to cover the message this is an authentication routine and as i've said earlier we will deal with authentication and security in a separate chapter in much greater detail the reader is advised to wait till then the paging channel is in fact split into three logical channels one is bcch broadcast control channel qpch quick paging channel CCCH common control channel we'll see briefly all these channels in this slide 
forward broadcast control channel this is utilized by the base station to transmit the overhead information which is transmitted on the forward paging channel in IS-95 system and broadcast information. The broadcast control channel can work in discontinuous mode and it can be transmitted repeatedly while working in a slow transmit data rate. This reduces the transmit power. What's the function of broadcast control channel? When BCCH is transmitted repeatedly, a mobile station achieves the time diversity gain, accumulating the received stream by combining the repeated information. So it uh, receives the same information and keeps on adding up to what has been received previously and accumulates the received stream. And this is known as time diversity gain. Thus a base station can enhance the overall capacity of forward channels by reducing the transmission power. Let's look at the next part of the figure. Quick paging channel. It transmits on-off keying modulated signal to the mobile to wake up for a message on the paging channel and demodulate simply and rapidly. The channel adopts 80 milliseconds as a QPCH time slot. Each time slot is divided into paging indicators, configuration change indicators and broadcast indicators, all of which are utilized to inform the mobile whether to receive paging message, system parameters message or broadcast message in the next forward paging channel. Rapid and simple demodulation. Mobile has no need to monitor the paging channel for a long time, so the standby time is prolonged. QPCH enables a mobile's battery life extension. We have seen this already. Mobile monitors the QPCH and when the flag is set, mobile looks for the paging message. Otherwise, it just goes to sleep. Let's look at the next part of the figure. Common control channel. This is utilized for broadcasting control data and messages to all the mobiles within the service area. FCCH and FBCCH may be used for carrying common signaling much like the paging channel. These signals may be used specifically for CDMA 2000 mobiles, thus relieving some of the overhead on the paging channel. Used for communication of layer 3 and MAC message from the base station to the mobile station. Hi guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. Before you leave this, please ensure that you are subscribing to this. Also, please do like these videos and share it amongst your friends and colleagues. There are plenty of other videos and I hope you will be able to find time to browse through all these things. Thank you.